Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my summer beauty essentials. So initially I was going to do my fashion, beauty, skincare, you know, the whole nine yards. But then as I started to combine everything together, I was like, this video would be like two hours long. So I just decided to just narrow it down just to my beauty products that are kind of like my must-haves for summertime. These are basically the items when I think of summer, I immediately go to and are like, those are my summer staples. So I hope that you guys are having an awesome start to your summer. I haven't really been outside to enjoy like the summer weather yet because in May it was just so cold and then now that we're in June, it's really hot, like it's like 90 degrees today, but it's so humid and it's been raining like crazy. So that hasn't left me much time to get out and enjoy summer or go to the pool or anything like that, but I hope to really soon. I don't have any plans to go to the beach or anything this year, which is such a bummer because I'm craving it so bad. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys have planned for summer. I'm always so interested in seeing what people are doing for summer vacations or if you have any fun things planned, let me know in the comments. Um, so let's jump right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with what I'm wearing on my lips today. And that is the YSL Rouge Volup Shine in the shade number 8. And I believe that the name of this one is Pink in Confidence. I have been wearing this non-stop. This color has just been giving me life lately. It's just a really pretty kind of like medium dusty rose pink, I guess is how I would describe it, but it looks beautiful if you have just a bronze glowy face. It kind of gives that like wet look to the lips, which I'm a huge fan of, especially in the summertime, because it just makes your lips look plump and luscious and juicy, so I have been loving this shade. So this is what it looks like right here. And I'll go ahead and swatch it on my hand so you can see an up close swatch of it as well. I do know that YSL lipsticks are very pricey, but I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of it because I have been wearing this non-stop. I just absolutely love this color. So if you guys see me wearing this all summer long in my videos, this is what I'm wearing. I just, I love it and I cannot put it down. And since I'm talking about rosy pink shades, I will go ahead and mention the blush that I'm wearing right now, which has definitely been a favorite of mine recently. And this is by MAC. It looks like this. This is the shade Dolly Mix. It's one of their sheer tone shimmer blushes. That's a tongue twister. But it's a beautiful middle tone rosy pink. I'm a huge fan of these kind of like rosy pink colors on my cheekbones, but I especially love this color in the summertime, especially with a nice bronze face. I just love the way that this looks with bronzer. And I love that this is also a sheer tone blush because it's perfect for the summertime. It doesn't pack as much color on the cheeks, which I think is great because you're wearing lighter looks in the summer and you just want that like sun-kissed kind of glow on the cheeks. And say that it's a shimmer blush, but I don't really notice too much shimmer in it. It's more just like a beautiful sheen on the cheeks. So I'm a huge, huge fan of this. I, again, I am wearing it today and I just absolutely love this color. I don't really hear too many people talk about it, which I think is really bizarre because it is such a universal shade and I just think it would be beautiful on so many people. So this is what it looks like up close. So again, this blush is Dolly Mix by MAC. All right, so let's move on to bronzers because everybody knows you have to have a good bronzer in the summertime, and I have two of them to share with you today. One is a cream bronzer and one is a powder bronzer, so I will go ahead and start off with the cream bronzer that I adore, and that is the Sonia Kashuk Bronzer. This is in the shade Warm Tan. When I actually went to purchase this like two years ago, I think, I meant to get the lighter shade, but I ended up picking up this one by accident, but this one works perfect for me. I'm wearing it today, and I really feel like it works great. I love it. So I've never tried the lighter one. I know the lighter one is very, very popular, but this warm tan works perfect for my skin tone. I love this because it really just melts into the skin. It looks super natural, so easy to blend, and it just really meshes into any other products that you wear on your face. So foundation, blush, you know, highlighter, anything that you're going to wear on your face over top of this or with this, 
This is just going to melt into it. It looks so beautiful and so, so natural. A lot of people say that this one is a dupe for the Chanel ones. So if you are someone that's really interested in the Chanel one but don't want to fork the money out for it, definitely give this one a try because I absolutely love this one. I've actually never tried the Chanel one, although it is on my wish list. I really do enjoy this one and yeah, I think it's a really great cream bronzer. So check it out. It's definitely a must have for the summer for me. And then the powder bronzer is actually semi new to me. I just discovered this about, I think a month ago. I featured this in my Sephora haul, my latest Sephora haul. So if you guys are interested in checking out that haul, I'll link it in the down bar below so that you guys can check it out. But I have been loving this bronzer. It's the bronzer by Hourglass. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. This is what it looks like in the pan. When I actually first put this onto my skin, I was like, oh, this is a little too warm for me. But as I gave it like five minutes to set, it just blended into my foundation so beautifully. It looks so natural. It just gives you just this beautiful radiance to the face. I love this bronzer. I wear it every single day. I haven't even touched any of my other bronzers since I got this. I've just been obsessed with this bronzer. So if you are in the market for a good powder bronzer for the summer and you like to look radiant and luminous, definitely give this one a shot because it is gorgeous. And I am wearing this over top of the cream bronzer today, so that's what it looks like right here. I also have it on my forehead and, you know, the areas where you bronze your face at. I'll go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand for you, too. So that is Luminous Bronze Light right here. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of very radiant, glowy skin. It's no surprise. I have dry skin, so I'm always looking for products that will make me luminous and glowy and look alive instead of dry and crusty because that's just not my thing. So of course I'm going to include a highlighter favorite, and this is by Becca, and this is in the shade Opal. So I talked about this in previous videos. I love this highlighter. I use it all of the time. It's just a perfect shade for a highlighter. It's not too silver and it's not too gold it's just that in between perfect kind of champagne shade and I just feel like it's very universal I love it it looks so so pretty on the cheekbones I am wearing this today as well I tried to wear everything that I was mentioning today so hopefully I did a good job I don't think that I left anything out maybe two things but I'll mention that in a minute they do have a couple other shades in their line so if you're not a fan of this champagne color they do have one that is more cool toned and then they do have a limited edition one that looks absolutely beautiful I think it's like a rose gold bronze shade it's seriously so pretty I, I've almost bought that a couple times I guess I should have started off by showing you guys what I like as a base on my face but I guess I'll do that now so the foundation that I've been wearing lately is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. They come in a little kind of tube container thing that looks like this. It has a little dropper on it. So you pick it up and then product drops out of the little, you know, squeezy thing. And this is such a unique product that I am just, I'm seriously obsessed with it. I wear this nonstop. I plan on doing a whole video about these custom cover drops because I've been trying them out and using them different ways and I'm just seriously obsessed with them. I love that you can get any amount of coverage that you want depending on how many drops of this actual pure pigment that you use. But just in a nutshell, these are basically just pure pigment drops and you mix them with your favorite beauty oil, moisturizer, tinted moisturizer, whatever you want to really and you get a different effect with everything that you use. So they're just really awesome. I love them because you can really sheer it out or you can get extremely, extremely full coverage with this. So this is definitely a favorite this summer. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you guys do want to see a full-fledged review on this and demo because I have a lot to talk about with these. Anyways, I could go on and on about them, but I love them so, so, so much. And in case you're wondering and you already know about them, I'm in the shade G30. So that matches me absolutely perfectly right now. I love them and I will talk more about them in my review, but that is what I've been wearing for foundation. And then one other face product that is very essential for me in the summertime is a good primer or setting spray. And I've been loving this one by Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water. So I have the small travel size one, I believe. The regular size one is a lot bigger than this, but this is silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. And I got this um, little travel size one just to try it out, but I absolutely love it. I've been using it for probably like a good month and a half. And I went, I went through quite a bit for using it for a month and a half, but I love this stuff. You can use it before you put your makeup on. You can use it after you put your makeup on. It really hydrates my skin and gives a little bit of a, 
I don't want to say tacky because I feel like that could really scare people away from the product. It just gives a little grit. Grit is not a good word either. A little substance, I guess, that you know that it clings to the foundation and is going to lock the foundation in so it doesn't move. It's just so good. I really, really, really like it. It's like water on steroids. It's really good stuff. I almost forgot to mention my lip balm that I use every single summer, especially when I'm outside. I always use a lip balm. I do have a lip treatment that I use every single night that's more like deep conditioning and hydrating on the lips. I'll mention that when I do my skincare video, um, which I'm going to be doing one of those very soon. But I use this lip balm all the time. I throw this in my purse. I throw it in my beach bag. Anywhere I'm going, I'm always carrying lip balm, especially in the summer. And this is the Burt's Bees Refreshing Lip Balm with Pink Grapefruit. And the smell alone is worth buying this for. It smells so delicious. It makes me just want to eat it. It smells so, so good. This does a really good job of just hydrating my lips and keeping them moist and hydrated. And the pink grapefruit one is my favorite. I've tried other ones, but I always go back to this one, probably because it smells so darn good. But I feel like this is the most hydrating one that I've tried. All right, so now I'm gonna move into some just like random skincare and stuff like that. Like I said, I wanted to keep this mainly just to beauty things and not go into like skincare, body lotion, fashion, and all of that, because I definitely could have, but this video would have been so long. But I did want to mention just a few of these products because I know most of you guys use products like this anyways. So I thought that I would just share with you my favorites. So of course it's summertime and I want to look tan but I don't want to lay out. I'm just not into that anymore. I laid out all the time when I was younger and I really ruined my skin. And I've had to do so many treatments and all of that good stuff to try to correct my skin. I've done chemical peels and everything. And I just want to take care of my skin now and keep it looking youthful and prevent any more age and damage to my skin. So I self tan, I'm a huge fan of it. I've mentioned this brand before, I think like at the end of last year. But I've just been loving the self tanner in particular. And this is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. So it comes in this little container right here and it has a pump applicator because it is a mousse, which I really like about it. I love that it's a mousse and it foams out on your body and you can evenly spread it, you know where it's going. It also comes with a mint that is really awesome as well. I will link the whole video that I did dedicated to this in the down bar below in case you guys want to check it out. The shade that I'm in is dark. I love this bronzing mousse for a couple different reasons, but mainly because the color is spot on. It's not too orangey and it's not too ashy, so it's just perfect. I love it. it. It doesn't make me look like I'm too golden, but it doesn't make me look like I'm dead and green. You know what I mean? I also like that when it starts to wear off, it doesn't get patchy because that is such a pet peeve of mine with self tanners. I hate that when they start to wear off like after a week or two and then you just look spotted and uneven and gross. I cannot stand that. So this one is definitely one of my favorite ones and also the smell isn't like so overbearing to where people don't want to be around you when you have this on. It has a slight self tanner smell of course but it's not just like overpowering where you can't go out of the house when you have this on. I actually put this on before I go to bed and I just sleep in it and then wash it off the next morning. It's by far the best self tanner that I have ever tried on the market. If you guys have any favorite self tanners let me know them in the comments below. I'm always looking for new ones but I always end up going back to this one because it is just that good. So if you're looking for a self tanner try loving tan. I think you'll love it. So I briefly just mentioned that I really don't go like lay out in the sun anymore. So when I'm outside like working in the yard or I'm at the pool or something like that, I'm always wearing a sunscreen. And my favorite one for the last probably like good two years has been the sun bum. So it comes in this packaging. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50 with UVA, UVB protection. And this one is water resistant up to 80 minutes with vitamin E. The thing that I really like about this one is that I feel like it doesn't dry my skin out. A lot of sunscreens that I've used in the past have really just dried my skin out for some reason. I just feel like with the sunscreens that I've used in the past, when I get out of the pool, I always feel really dry and I've always had to like run inside and put regular lotion on after I've worn sunscreen, but I feel like with this one, it just leaves my skin really moisturized. I don't know if it has anything to do with the vitamin E, I'm just guessing it does, but I just noticed with this one, my skin feels a little more hydrated. This one is also paraben-free, hyperallergenic, anti-aging, 
oil free, PABA free, won't clog pores, and it says that it's photo stable, which I never saw that until I just read it to you guys, which I think might mean that it doesn't cause flashback, which is really awesome that they even included that in the little description. So I really, really like this sunscreen. My husband actually uses this same brand, only he uses the one in like the spray, and he really likes that one. It's almost like a spray lotion, um, but I just prefer the regular lotion one. I recommend this though. I think it's really good. Um, it's protected us from the sun. We've never got a sunburn when we wore this. And yeah, I think it's a good sunscreen if you're looking for one for the summer. I got this at Ulta, and I believe I got this one in the spray lotion one. It was like buy one, get one 50% off. So that's why I think we ended up trying it. And this smell is really yummy too. It almost smells like a tanning lotion versus like a sunscreen kind of chemical smell. So I like it a lot. And this Jurgens BB Perfecting Skin Cream is also a must have for me, especially when I'm self tanning because this really just maintains my tan. It has a little bit of self-tanner in it, but it's just so moisturizing. It really evens out my skin tone, even when I'm not self-tanning. This just makes my skin look really pretty. It just luminizes my skin and makes it look really healthy. It's supposed to hydrate and smooth, brighten and illuminate even skin tone, visibly firm skin, which I've never seen any firming effects, but hey, maybe I just haven't noticed them. And it's also supposed to minimize the appearance of imperfections, which I definitely think it does because I have a lot of uneven skin tone on my arms. And when I use this on my arms, it seems to just even everything out and makes it look really like blurred and pretty. So I really, really like this stuff. I actually mentioned this in a sick day tutorial that I did. I'll try to link that video down below too so you guys can check it out. But this just makes me look healthy and radiant and it just really preserves my self-tanner. So once I self-tan the day after and a couple days after, like a week or two after, I just continue to use this stuff and it just makes my tan last longer, I feel like. I actually get this at the drugstore. It is a little pricey for a drugstore item. I think that this retails for like 13 to 15 dollars in some places which is definitely more on the pricey side for a drugstore item but you really don't need that much it comes out kind of thick I'll show you like this right here so a little goes a long way and it's just so nice and it smells really good too so I really like this and I can't live without it in the summer especially paired with the self tanner I think that these just go hand in hand you guys are gonna laugh at me when I show you this next item because it's organic sugar I use this in the summertime like crazy because I'm always exfoliating my body. I have tried so many different sugar scrubs, salt scrubs, any kind of scrub from the stores and they're just never what I'm looking for. They're either too abrasive, not abrasive enough, or too oily where they leave my skin feeling really greasy and I just feel like organic sugar works the best to exfoliate my skin. I take a little bit of this like in a little dish and I take it into the shower with me and I put it directly on my skin and I do circular motions and it gets all of my self tanner off, like all of the residue, it gets all my dry skin off and just leaves a beautiful canvas to apply self tanner or moisturize my skin. I know it sounds a little crazy but it's natural and it's very inexpensive. I mean you can get a whole thing of this and it'll last you forever and it just does the best job at exfoliating my skin. You can even mix this with like olive oil or your body wash that you're already using and just rub it in and make your own exfoliator but I love using organic sugar. I use it all the time to exfoliate so it's definitely a must have for the summertime. And then the last thing that I'm gonna mention is actually some nail polish. I mentioned to you guys in my last current favorites video that I have been loving the OPI Infinite Shine Collection. And I actually heard about this from the Blushing Shades of Beauty here on YouTube. Her name is Lisa, I will link her in the down bar below. But I was looking at her Instagram and she had a picture with this color that I'm gonna to mention today, which is the OPI Infinite Shine Lacquer in the shade Beige of Reason. And I just had this on my nails before I put this powder blue on last night. I have been like obsessed with blue lately, like craving it. Like I need to wear it. Obviously I'm wearing blue today. I need it on my nails. I just need a blue in my life right now. I don't know what that means, but I need blue and I'm obsessed with it. So I painted my nails blue last night, but before I took this beige of reason off, I took a picture of it so that I could show you guys because I knew I was going to mention it in this video. So I will insert a picture right here for you guys to see it. But this is such a beautiful nude. Besides my blue obsession, I have been loving neutral and kind of like natural looking nails, especially when my nails were longer and I had them rounded. Then one broke and now I'm back to square, but that's besides the point. 
I still really, really love this color. So if you're looking for that like natural nude nail, I definitely recommend this. And it also just lasts forever when you use the entire system. I really feel like this system makes my polish last longer than anything that I've ever tried. And I'm obsessed with the base of Region nail polish. So if you're looking for a good nude, I definitely recommend trying this one. So that is it for my summer staples. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what your guys' must-haves for the summer is. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook so we can chat more about beauty. I also post a lot of like home stuff on Instagram as well as beauty, makeup, things like that. So if you're interested in that, be sure to follow me on Instagram for sure because I'm kind of like an Instagram stalker in a non-creepy way. But I just love Instagram. I love looking at pictures. I'm definitely a visual person. So um, Instagram is like right up my alley. I love it. And... And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Be sure to subscribe. I make new videos every single week and I would love to have you guys around. And I will talk to you guys next week in my next video. Bye.